welcome back guys to another video today i'm going to be showing you guys how to clone a vdi file um this is if you're using oracle vm virtual box um just thought it would be a nice little trick you can use if you want to clone it whether it's for your class or whether it's just for you to play around with um the reason you would want to do this is because um, Oracle will not let you run two um, two VDIs at the same time because they because basically it just gets confused. It doesn't know which one and everything, so that's why you want to use a clone because then it just gives it a different variable basically in order for it to work all right so how you're gonna do this is you're gonna find the one that you want to clone so I'm gonna do this one it's in D it's in virtualization okay so here we're gonna go command prompt and then from here we're going to just go to D or wherever you have it, I have it at on my um, SSD. Yours might be an E, F, whatever it is. So I'll hit enter. And then from here, you're gonna wanna write the file name. So mine is virtualization. Make sure that's in quotation marks. Don't know why that's not working. Write it wrong. Virtualization. I forgot to write CD. Of course. My bad. Okay, and now we are currently in this folder. So now let's go see what's in the folder. So here you can see lab two, which is right here. Lab 2.1, whatever, whatever. Lab 2.1, which is right here. So PNG, PNG, PNG. And then lab virtualization document. And then so right here. This is what we want to clone. So, so once we confirm that it in fact is there, we are going to now proceed to start cloning it. So, how we're gonna do this is, give me one second. We're gonna go quotation, and then we're gonna go C, uh, and then hit program files. Went a little too far. Oracle, and that virtual box dash vbox manage dot exe and the quotation mark there now hit space and then we're gonna hit clone medium disk space and then I'm just gonna do disk and then here you're gonna want to write what the VDI file name is so here I'm gonna write Windows 10 education do not forget to write VDI and the quotation and then now we're just gonna name it something else so then we can differentiate the two okay so now another quotation and here I'm gonna write Windows 10 make this a little bigger and then dot VDI it doesn't really matter what you name this. I can name it Windows only. It doesn't really matter whatever you want to do. So, hopefully this all works. And then that's what you'll see is zero percentage. And then you'll see that it's slowly starting to um, 
slowly starting to add up. And how you can see is if you just hit properties and then it'll s slowly start going up. So here, see, it's at five, now it's at this. Uh, fix this, go view. Oh, no, oh. here we go, it's a little bit better. So here you can see how much it is and then basically just follow it. So now it's at a gig and so on and so forth. And here it'll give you a little bit of a, how much percentage, um, but it only goes by every 10%. So it'll go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. And it'll say dot, 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 complete. And then that's it. And then you put it into your virtual box um, as if you would just normally, here, I'll just show you guys real quick. So you just go here. And then I'll just fix this. Here you can just go virtual media. I have a bunch in here. Don't really care. You can just add. And then you'll see. So D. And here it is. It's currently not done yet, so I'm obviously not going to click enter. But that's how you would add it. This is pretty cool. Um, also, I should also mention if you um, put this in before you clone it, make sure that you release it in order for it to actually clone properly. Um, sometimes I'll get errors. I've tried it before. Sometimes get errors and everything. So I'll just do that um, before you. Uh, before you decide to clone it, but make sure you don't remove all the files because then it's just going to delete everything. All right, I th think that's it. Let's see how far we are right now. Let's see, three gigs. Um, and also, it doesn't really matter. You can use forward slash or backslashes on this, just whatever works for you. All right, thanks for watching, guys. This is How To Tech Tips. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and comment, and don't forget to subscribe.